Hello friends. Today we look into what is wood ash and what is biochar and charcoal ash. What are the uses of wood ash in your garden as a fertilizer and other benefits and details like how to use it and how much to use it. I'll also demonstrate the effect of wood ash on the pH of your soil using a soil pH testing gadget. Wood ash is a very cost effective organic fertilizer used commonly in nurseries which is the top secret for healthy plants you see in plant nurseries. Also at the end of the video we'll tell you how to make ash tea for your plants. Then finally on very important don'ts and precautions for using wood ash. All that's coming up. Welcome back. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon and you won't miss anything. So what is wood ash? It's nothing but the residue powder left over after the combustion of wood such as burning wood in a home fireplace or an industrial power plant. It is used traditionally by gardeners as an organic fertilizer and it's a very good source of potash. The pH value of wood ash is between 8 and 9 that is alkaline pH. One more point to remember here is there is something called biochar. Those small pieces of wood that have burned completely but not converted into powder. These pieces are excellent material to mix in succulent soil mixture. You can use biochar if you do not have charcoal pieces or as a substitute to charcoal. But for soil amendment when it comes to charcoal ash that is obtained by burning coal pieces it's better to avoid this for plants as this comes from burning of coal and it contains high amounts of metals uh, which might be harmful to your plants. Well, coming back to wood ash, it has a very high potassium carbonate content which makes it an excellent choice as a fertilizer. In addition to potassium, wood ash is a rich source of phosphorus, calcium and magnesium. Additionally, it contains small amounts of useful micronutrients like the molybdenum, manganese, copper, sodium, boron, zinc and iron. It is a purely organic fertilizer because it's created through the combustion of plant materials that is wood. It's been used by gardeners and farmers since ages as a natural soil amendment. Wood ash is also recycled, packaged and sold at garden stores and it would have a NPK value of 013 or something like that. You can make your own ash by collecting the ashes from your fireplace or by burning wood and collect the wood ash powder and use it in your garden. You can preserve wood ash for a long time by keeping them sealed in airtight bags away from moisture. The one you are seeing here is organic recycled wood ash purchased online. You can find the link to purchase this in the description of the video. Well, now we list out the best uses of wood ash in your garden and how to use it and how much to use it in descending order of its value. On number 5, it is used to deter many surface feeding pests like aphids and white flies and also soft bodied surface feeding insects like slugs and snails which can eat away a lot of your garden in the dark and wood ash sprinkled on and around the plants can be very effective to keep them away. If it's rainy season you might need to reapply after every rain. Number 4 in the list is to control or slow down the growth of algae in your water plants and also on the top soil of your plants. Sprinkle small amount of it on the affected area. Number 3 it improves the compost quality. Adding wood ash to your compost bin can enhance its nutrients, especially potash, which is a key nutrient for flowering plants. Here one thing to remember is, adding too much uncalculated wood ash can be bad for acid loving plants, as it can make it too much alkaline. So the recommended dosage is, sprinkle a layer of wood ash every 6 inches of your compost approximately. Number 2 in the list is its use as a fertilizer. The main component of wood ash that is potassium is important for photosynthesis, plant vigor and overall growth of the plant. Here an important thing you should know before adding wood ash to your soil is whether your plant is an acid loving plant or not. Like you should avoid this in acid loving plants which I shall list out at the end of the video. Well. 
first benefit as a fertilizer is to fertilize your lawn. Just sprinkle some odash and spray water over it so that the nutrients enter into the soil and this can boost your lawn health. Number two, for calcium loving plants like tomatoes and other vegetables, though you can use eggshells effectively, sprinkling very small amount of uh, Udash on these plants can be very effective. Uh, so one, one thing you should remember here is if you have a soil pH tester, it's really useful in testing the soil pH before adding Udash as a soil amendment. Vegetables like tomatoes, broccoli, cabbages, uh, beans, beets and many other root vegetables usually prefer neutral to slightly alkaline soil with pH levels around 6 to 7.6. So how to use Udash here? Before sprinkling, rake the soil well and then sprinkle a thin layer around the plants and then water the plant. Here I'm using a soil pH testing gadget which is purchased online. Though it's a low cost gadget, it's really handy when it comes to testing soil pH. And also it tests soil moisture and also the light conditions. Here for demo purpose, I am inserting the gadget probes into a soil sample to the root level. You can see the value is acidic for this soil that is between 5 and 6. That is too acidic. Now I am gonna sprinkle some wood ash on this and then pour some water and let's see the effect after 1 hour. Now you can see the wonderful effect of wood ash on this soil. It's increasing from a pH of 5 to 6 to 6 to 7 and may turn more alkaline after some more time. Based on this testing, you can adjust the amount of wood ash you sprinkle on your plant soil. Well, now let's quickly learn how to make wood ash tea. You might be already aware of something called compost tea. Similarly, you can exclusively make wood ash tea or you can even mix it to your existing compost tea. For those who do not know about compost tea, it's just an organic liquid rich in nutrients made by mixing compost into water plus adding a few other ingredients or components. There are many ways you can make compost tea. We'll make a separate video on this topic some other time. For now, to make wood ash tea, depending on the size of your compost bin, you can pour some amount of wood ash in a cloth bag or any cloth like a small pillow cover or anything and then tie it up and suspend this bag into your compost bin and fill it with water and leave it for about one week. Then use this water as wood ash tea, that is wood ash compost tea. This is a very rich all-purpose fertilizer that can help cure many plant problems such as leaf yellowing patterns due to deficiencies, especially due to potassium deficiencies, then brown spots and discoloration at the edges due to potassium deficiency, then stunted plant growth, curled leaf tips and low crop yields. Then finally coming to the precautions to be taken before using wood ash and the don'ts in using wood ash. Always wear eye protection and dust mask on your face while handling fine wood ash powder. Do not mix and apply wood ash with nitrogen fertilizers like ammonium sulfate, urea and ammonium nitrate. These fertilizers can emit ammonia gas when they come in contact with high pH substance like wood ash. And do not use wood ash on seedlings. Then do not apply wood ash on roses, berries, rhododendrons, azaleas and potatoes that is acid loving plants. First research on the soil type requirement for your plant before using wood ash as soil amendment. Now one bonus benefit for you as usual. You can protect your seeds from fungus while preserving them. Mix the seeds in some wood ash powder and seal them for storage. You can use any moisture absorbing material for this purpose like charcoal powder, milk powder or even small pieces of newspaper. So there we have it folks, if you like the video please like, share and comment on the video and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing. Happy gardening!